What if losing a limb wasn't the end, but just a reset button? Scientists are closer than ever to unlocking the secrets of regeneration, and soon losing a hand could be like getting a haircut, temporary. But if we can grow limbs back, what else could we do? Nature already figured this out. Axolotls, salamanders, even some fish can regrow entire limbs, tails, even parts of their heart and brain. It's like their bodies hit a biological undo button. And now researchers think humans might have the same hidden potential. We just need to turn the right switches back on. The key, bioelectricity, stem cells, and genetic programming. Scientists are already reactivating dormant genes that exist in our DNA, the same ones that let our ancestors regrow tissue millions of years ago. Imagine a world where a severed arm isn't a disability, but a temporary inconvenience. Where you don't get a prosthetic, you just wait a few months for your new arm to grow back. But here's where things get weird. What if you could regrow a better limb? What if we didn't just restore, but enhanced? Stronger muscles, built-in night vision, skin that resists aging. Regeneration might start as a cure, but how long before it turns into upgrades? And then there's the ethical nightmare. If you lose a limb today, insurance covers a prosthetic. What happens when growing a new one costs $100,000? Do the rich get to regenerate while the rest just deal with what they've got? We're on the verge of a medical revolution, but also a massive social shift. If we can regenerate, what does that mean for human evolution? Will we even recognize ourselves in 100 years? So would you regrow your limb or upgrade it? Because ready or not, the future is coming.